All right, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I want to address another comment here, and uh, con I continuously fail uh, people constantly over and over. So let me try to uh, simplify, to clarify, to help this person, Alex. And he makes this comment, and uh, I don't want to read that. It'll take me more than 10 minutes to read all that. So let me summarize what he says. He's talking about Genesis 6, and he's wondering, what does the sons of God mean? And he says the literal translation, which is code for, I don't believe in any Bible at all. So I'm going to make up whatever I want the Bible to say. That's I mean, that's a little harsh, but that's true. You don't believe in any Bible because you're not pointing to any Bible. You're just saying the little translation from what? From this imaginary Bible that does not exist, okay? So I'm not going to get into that. But he gives three examples. He says there are three viewpoints that people uh, teach regarding the sons of God. And they're all three wrong, but let's go over them. One is that uh, the sons of God, he says, it's interesting here, the first, that of the Tang, uh, Targums and the main Jewish exhibitors who were nobles and men of high rank. Uh, that's one interpretation of what the sons of God means, and that's utterly ridiculous because there were no Jewish exhibitors. There were no of these guys, nobles. I mean, there were nobles, I guess, right? But that's not what Jew, uh, That's not what Genesis six is talking about at all. All right, and the other is angels, and that's not what Genesis six is talking about either. And then the third is that the this uh, idea that it's from the line of Seth. I think he calls them Setites. All right, they're right there okay so those are the three he's saying these are the three possibilities and they're all three wrong and uh, i think he sort of goes in all this is all about uh, this idea that the, uh, the sons of god are from the line of seth so uh, let's take a look at genesis 6 it, it just astonishes me really it's like nobody ever reads genesis 6 they talk about it all the time but they never read it and i will give credit to alex because he uh, does admit that the daughters here in verse 1 and the daughters of men in verse 2 are the same Okay, so he's he's halfway there, right? He's halfway there because the daughters in verse 1 and the daughters of men in verse 2 are the same. Now, all you have to do, Alex, is look at this before. Right here before it says daughters in verse 1 when it says men. And it came to pass when men began to multiply. So if you can put men... If you can make that connection from daughters to daughters of men, then you ought to be able to make that connection of men to sons of God. It's, it's that simple, okay? And then, if there was any confusion, if there was any doubt, it should be clarified in verse 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with, man for that he also is flesh it's not talking about jewish men it's not talking about angels it's not talking about the line of seth it's talking about man there does that clarify it for you i mean that should be all i have to say of course i know that that's not gonna is some people just have a veil over their face and they're never going to see it. It's very simple. But let's say I need some more confirmation. All right, that's not enough for me. Okay, so let's go to verse 4. When the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men. Okay, so you, we established the daughters of men are daughters. 
And we should have already established sons of God are men. Okay. And and they bear children to them, and the same became mighty men. So when these two groups of people, the sons of God and the daughters of men, came together, they had men. And God saw the weakness of man. And it repented the Lord that he had made man. It, it's incredible. Then the Lord said, I will destroy man. All right, so time and time again, verse after verse after verse is talking about man. It's not talking about Jewish nobles. It's not talking about angels. And it's not talking about the line of Seth. It's talking about man. All right, so it's just as simple as all can be. But people are obsessed with this idea of angels having sex. And it never happens. It's never mentioned in the Bible anywhere. And in fact, the only... I, <laughs> uh, I was going to say, uh, the only reason that they push this idea of angel sex is, uh, you know, so they can... Uh, well, I don't even want to say. It's it's because they they're deceptive. They want to deceive people. That's all. They don't know the truth, and so they want to associate everything with sex because in their life, everything, they watch HBO and Cinemax, and they got sex, 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 and so this has to be about angels having sex, and, well, that's, that's not happening now. It's not happening then, and the sons of God were all sons of Adam. Very simple to understand. If you just read the Bible. All right. And you got. Uh, you, you got a number of verses really. First uh, Corinthians 15. So it is written. The first man Adam. Was made a living soul. The last Adam. Was made a quickening spirit. So the first Adam was in Genesis 1. The last Adam is. In. Uh, is Jesus. Right, and so Adam was made flesh, and then Jesus was made a quickening spirit. All right, so if Adam was the son of God, if Jesus was the son of God, Adam was the son of God, and there should be confirmation of that, and there is. This is all very simple stuff. Um, but you know, it people. And often don't care about the truth, which is crazy, huh? All right, so here in Luke 3, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. So Seth wasn't the son of God. Adam was the son of God. And so, uh, it, it, okay, so first of all, let's establish it. There's not a line of Seth. We're all, uh, he's made us of one blood among all nations okay so it should be him has made of one blood and so uh, if you can forget about that idea that there's two bloodlines that's not in the Bible it's demonic it's not nothing you should be teaching now here's the bloodline right here and Adam called his wife name Eve because she was the mother of all living so everybody's from the bloodline of Eve <laughs> yeah it's pretty simple right so now if Adam was the son of God then everybody born of Adam is a son of God if Jesus is the son of God then everybody born of Jesus is a son of God so everybody born of the flesh is the son of Adam everybody born of the spirit is the son of Jesus okay so they're after uh, the flood when it was um, proven that man cannot do it on his own, then the laws and ordinances and so forth were established to create this division between um, the sons of God and sons of the wicked. All right. It was after the flood that this division was created. All right. So now those of us that believe in Jesus Christ are the sons of God. 